from NRG Stadium in Houston, Texas. It's the AFC Divisional Round Playoffs on EA Sports. Deshaun Watson and the Houston Texans versus Teddy Bridgewater and the Miami Dolphins. It's the National Football League presented by EA Sports. Coming up, it's Divisional Round Saturday, and we've got an AFC battle on tap between the Miami Dolphins and the Houston Texans. Again, everyone, with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Texan ball club entering play here. They come in losers of two straight, so they're trying to right the ship here a little. For a berth in the AFC Championship game, off we go in the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And the opening kickoff. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. They'll be led by Teddy Bridgewater in his eighth season now in the NFL. And if he and his guys want to spring the upset here in the second round and move on, they've got to focus on the good that they did in the wild card victory. At the top of that list, protecting the football. Got a little careless last week. A few got away from it. Might not be so fortunate this time around. And if that's the case, they'll end up going home. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. They'll run for the first time with Mark Ingram. And he's able to break out of one tackle, but then quickly brought down. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. And Charles, despite this list of key inactives that we see here, they've obviously still been pretty successful. Give everyone credit for this one, because to me, when that happens, key guys are out, the next man steps up and plays well. But that starts with the organization itself, all the way through. No excuses for guys being out. Finding guys who are capable backups who can step up and play when they need them. And we've seen the results of that. This team knows how to work through things. And unable to give them credit. They took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, they've got man coverage on the outside. And my scouting report on these DBs tells me that they love to take matters in their own hands. They want man coverage, not zone. And there was good coverage there that forced the incompletion. So on fourth down, kicking it away here, Michael Pilardi. And this one's out of bounds. Should be inside the 10, I think it is, at the six-yard line. Texans taking over offensively, and it is, of course, Deshaun Watson who leads them out at quarterback. And it wasn't really his best performance of the year in the wild card round last week. He just had the one touchdown pass. But he got the job done and his team advanced. For them to continue on to the championship round, though, I think he's going to need to take a few more chances with the ball downfield, push it a little bit more, and make sure his team finds its way into the end zone a few more times. And he'll be taken down for a loss back at the three. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. How about the job there on the outside? Shed the wide receiver and was able to make the tackle on the perimeter. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. Watson to give. 
And he'll find a little space. He gets this up near the 10. The Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Now Watson. And he'll get this underneath to David Johnson. So nothing doing there. And that's going to make it fourth down. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it, but to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, they got the safe completion on third. Here's Sam Martin now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. Call that a 41-yard punt, six yards on the return. And the Dolphins will begin this drive in great field position, first and 10. So Miami coming out for their second drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Brought down that time by Christian Kirksey. Well, sometimes you just have to give credit to the defense. Great job there at the point of attack, holding up. They won their battles at the line of scrimmage, left him no space to try and run. A really nice job swarming to the ball carrier. On second and nine, Bridgewater. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the training staff takes a peek, we'll take a break. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. On the jet sweep, here comes Waddle. And a loose football, and the Texans scoop it. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. And that play, it looked like trouble from the very beginning, and it wound up being even bigger trouble than they anticipated. Yeah, and instead of cutting his losses on the play, I think what happens here is receivers get so excited about this play call with a chance to run with it that they try and really make it work no matter what. He just needed to cover up on that one, but he didn't, and they lost possession. Watson will bring up the Texans here first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. First carry of the game here for Royce Freeman. Powers through him, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. is that offensive line if they keep clearing holes like that it could be a long night defensively no doubt about it because when they are in sync as we're seeing so far when that continuity is there and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers you're exactly right it could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage one play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10 this is freeman and this will be a Texans first down as he's got this up to the 45-yard line. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Here's Watson. And he finds Danny Amendola. And he's got this down to the 35. No score after one on EA Sports. First and ten, Watson. He finds his man complete. That's Phillips. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 
It's another 10 yards on that one and another first down. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, trying to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, it picks up a first down. I hope we give enough respect to the big guys up front because they have been getting it done on this drive. The holes have been large, and they've been barreling through them, picking up first downs. Now a first and 10 at the 11. A shotgun snap for Watson. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Throwing again is Watson. And that'll fall incomplete. He was hit just as he let that go. And now it's third down. Throwing on third down, Watson. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. We can make this one pretty simple. Locked up all of his progressions downfield, forced to get it to his running back. But how about the way they ran to the football and knocked him down to force a fourth down? goes Watson, on comes Texan kicker Kaimi Fairbairn for the field goal. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Fairbairn able to put this one through. And it's now 3-0 Texans. So a good kick there, and they put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take it through. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Not Either the, way. Not the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. Miami's offense set and ready to go. And last time, the turnover on the fumble, and they were in enemy territory, so that had to be very frustrating. Down on the scoreboard here, can't do it again. You nailed every part of what was frustrating. <laughs> Down on the scoreboard, had a drive going, had pushed it past the 50-yard line, so they felt they were in striking distance. And to come away with nothing, not a good feeling at all, to put it mildly. Now they can't afford to do that again. Yeah, now can they get that? Bad taste out of their mouth here. And the throw here caught by Devontae Parker. And he'll be working across midfield. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Throwing Bridgewater. He'll find Parker again, complete. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag. Because when you do, you can just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. To throw once more on second and 10. Bridgewater, he gets this complete to Shaheen, the tight end. And he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Bridgewater from the gun on third down. Got a man. It's Waddle complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Go, go, go. 
Second quarter action, two minutes to go on Divisional Round Weekend. We remind you, as we've done all year, that coming up at halftime, we will visit with Jonathan Coachman standing by in Orlando. He'll let you know what's going on here on a very eventful Divisional Round Weekend. Now a dump off here complete. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. First foray into the red zone for Miami. It's first and 10 from the 12. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Seven yards, the pick up there. Well, if you do read man coverage, Brandon, the drag route's a pretty good one to run against it because you're running away from people on it. Second and three with the ball sitting on the five. Bridgewater now. The quick slant caught. Call it a gain of three on the play. And they'll be faced with a third and in inches. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a tick under a minute to go before half. They'll try to run for the first with Ingram. Like there's a Texan here slow to get up. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. They'll look to run with Ingram. Then he takes it into the end zone for the Dolphin touchdown. Mark Ingram. Fine work there on the touchdown run. And the Dolphins have taken the lead. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Jason Sanders now for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that one a long 11-play drive. And it's Mark Ingram who caps it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. On the return, here comes Smith out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Texans with the football here late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Watson on first down, and he'll find QT on the right side complete. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as the clock will stop with 45 seconds to go in the first half. From the 27, Watson. He finds his man complete. It's Phillips. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. From the gun, here's Watson. He finds his man complete. That's Phillips. The Texans going to signal for their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. On first down, it's Watson. And this one complete to Smith. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. The final shot before the break, Watson. And it's complete right back in the hands of Smith. So it's on to halftime in this AFC Divisional Round matchup as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, this is the second of four games this weekend as we narrow the field down to the four teams who will meet in the league championship games next Sunday. We'll get back out to you guys in just a moment. But first, let's take a look ahead to tomorrow's other Divisional Round games in the AFC and it looks like a good one, as it'll be the Tennessee Titans doing battle with the Kansas City Chiefs. Meanwhile, in our game, we've got one half remaining to find out who goes on to the AFC title game. And to bring it all to you, let's send it back out to Brandon God. 
Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter of what's been a tight contest so far. Win or go home, that's the name of the game, and we're back underway with the second half of this AFC Divisional round. And Smith chooses not to return it, and they'll bring it out to the 25. And the Texans getting ready to go here to begin the third quarter. And Charles, that had to be an interesting locker room at halftime. This is a team that's had so much success this year. Haven't really had to deal with a lot of adversity at halftime, to be honest. But now here they are with their playoff lives on the line. And I think when you're alluding to that interesting locker room, you're just wondering how are they handling that bit of adversity that they're seeing right now? Because I think this is a team that has to look to lean on the veterans at this point. We know we're better than this. We've proved it all season. Let them disseminate that confidence through the locker room. But this opening drive, it'll be an important one for them to give them a little jolt of confidence moving forward. On the run, it's Smith. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Watching that run takes me back to something a famous that any player he wants on his team, he wants him to be agile, mobile, and most definitely hostile. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Watson now to throw. Over the middle here to Brown. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. On the carry, here's Smith. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Running from the gun, Johnson. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Second and ten here as we sit in the third quarter of this divisional round matchup. Now it's Watson. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. The inside linebacker, Danny Trevathan, gets the sack. We are seeing two really confident defenses imposing their will on these offenses in this game. Yeah, absolutely, going toe for toe. Just curious if one of these offenses can wake up a little bit. Is there any way they can find something that can pop, something big to knock them back on their heels? Following the sack, it's now third and long for Watson and the Texans. Out of the gun, Watson. He's got his man. It's the tight end, Brevin Jordan. And he is going to have a Texans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Here's Watson. Got this into the hands of the tight end, Jordan. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll make it second and a foot or so. Back to throw, Watson. Open man is Jordan, the tight end. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll run it here with Smith. And able to get him inside the five here, just inside the five to about the four. Second and three, and they trail seven to three, but getting close to changing that. And this defense hoping to limit them to a field goal to preserve the lead. Expect this from the visiting team when playing indoors, but not the home team. They're supposed to get all the advantages, right? The home crowd's supposed to help them. They forgot where they were, perhaps. They hand off to their big tight end. 
And running room hard to come by here. He gets it down to the eight. He'll pick up only a yard there, and it'll leave him with a third and seven. Watson. And this pass broken up. The contact well timed there, and now fourth down. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. The kick by Fairbairn is good. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. So a decent drive there to start the third quarter. They only salvaged three out of it, but they inch a bit closer. Yeah, but still lots of time to go in this one. That's why you hear that clapping on the sidelines, <laughs> right? Hey, got some points. As you said, inching their way back in. Time left to go out and get that victory. So here are the Dolphins now. They get ready for their first possession of the second half. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and ten. Here's Bridgewater. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. A third quarter now, a one-point game as they line up second and ten. Here's Bridgewater. A quick slant to Hill. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. One quarter remains for the right to advance to the AFC title game. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Bridgewater. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. So a first and ten now in Houston territory at the 49-yard line. From the shotgun, it's Bridgewater. And a danger down and incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Bridgewater to throw it. They'll get this into the hands of Hill, complete. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans 21. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. First down, Bridgewater. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there, and it's second down. Throwing again, Bridgewater on second and ten. Dancing to his left. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Teddy Bridgewater. A 21-yard touchdown run. And the Dolphins are able to grow their lead. So an important drive for them there. They're not home, but momentum, Charles, definitely in their favor now. And I like the point you just made. They're not home yet, but a one-point game, and if you kick the extra point, make it an eight-point game. Only one score, but you're right. Momentum definitely in their favor right now. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that will ensure that it will take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. Now after the touchdown, ready to kick it away is Sanders. 
And Smith not going to bring it out, so it's a touchback. Houston's offense already at the line, set to get going. And this could be the defining moment of their season, all hyperbole aside. You're trailing here in the fourth quarter, the divisional round. And they need to come up with something as they get this drive started. And that's a much-needed first down right there. Look, they're down by eight. So logic says they don't have to get a touchdown out of this drive. But the way things are going, I don't know if I'd put it in the hands of my defense here. You might not get the ball back at all. So if a fourth down situation comes up, I'm thinking hard about going for it right here and right now. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. To throw is Watson. Steps away to his left. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in, but somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and ten. Looking to throw. Watson. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. Matt Ioannidis forced his way through, drops him for a loss of 10 yards. Well, many times when you talk about mobile quarterbacks, you get the sense that they feel like they can get out of any bad situation. They keep moving around and trying to emulate guys like the scrambler or the dodger. Instead, they keep losing yardage and losing yardage and digging themselves a hole that they can't get out of. Second and 20. Another try after the first down sack. Watson. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Operating from the gun. Watson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. This has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And this will probably be the final play before the two-minute warning. Now a first down throw, Watson. Oh, no, he lost the football. Well, that takeaway, partner, right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we can make a play, we give our team, we give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. The fumble on first down now. Here's second down. Following the fumble recovery, Watson. Quick hitter here. It's complete. We've got a one-score game with inside of two minutes remaining. So it's Texans football as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Watson to throw. By rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward. He's at the 50, 30, 10. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. That's the story of the game. They've been suffocating all game long on defense. They were suffocating there again in a big way. And they've done it not just by out-athleting them, which is often the case, but by being able to adjust to anything they tried to throw at them and beating them into the punch each and every time. This was a defense that was well-prepared. Sanders now to add the extra point.
It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-6. So the defense creating some points, not only getting the interception, but then returning it to the end zone for the pick six. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. On the return, Tremont Smith. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. The Texans offense ready to go here for their next drive. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play too. Watson. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's Watson. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 26. This will be caught inside the 10. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Now Watson. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. To throw, Watson. Flushed out right. And he takes this one into the end zone at all. Sudden here in the final minute, things get a little bit tighter. Okay, so they got the score. Do you go for one here and save the possible two point conversion for later? I think you do because if you go for two here and you don't get it, that's deflation. Yeah, now you wonder why you're even going for it. Take the easy one now and come back and try and get it later. And now in a nine point game, they'll still just need to go for one here. And it's good, so that will get them back within one score. So that drives seven plays in length. And the final act belonged to Deshaun Watson in his touchdown run. So still a chance with just over 20 seconds to go, but they need to get this one back, no doubt. And the Dolphins are indeed going to get this, and that should all but do it. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of a anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. They'll run on first down. Bernard, and he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Now the Texans will burn the first of their timeouts as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. Back to the ground, this time with Ingram. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts as they'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. Ingram again. And not much running room. Down to the 32. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. And here's a big one now. Trying to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. 
They'll run for it. It's Ingram. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. The Dolphins advancing in these playoffs as we say so long, everybody. So that'll just about do it for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. From Houston, good night, everybody.